Hey, what's up guys? Joshua Davenport here. Welcome to Davenport Fitness. Subscribe below, check out my Instagram, support a brother. Today I'd like to talk about the five gyms I recommend for people living in Etobicoke. To, to jump right into it, the first gym I'd like to recommend is Fit For Less. They, uh, Fit For Less was started by Good Life a couple years ago. It's for low budget, it's for people with a low budget, you know. It's $10 a month on a contract, $20 a month without a contract, but you gotta pay a $45 initial sign up fee. Um, the gym used to be 24 hours, 4 days a week, but of recent, it is now 24 hours, 7 days a week. And, which means, it's pretty much a really good gym, because you can go anytime you want now. And you only pay $20 a month. All the equipment there, I don't remember the name of who made the equipment, but it is, it is by a pretty decent company. Sometimes the kill machine is broken, but I've been there for a, for a couple weeks now, and it's, it's all been running way better than it used to be before. They got massage chairs, they got all sorts of dumbbells, barbells, like everything you need if you're a basic, moderate, even an advanced lifter. It has really everything you need. The only thing, the only downside of the gym would be the bars. They're kind of small, and you feel the difference, well I feel the difference, but if you're just going to the gym or you don't really care, you're ready, you go to good life, it's, it's really the same thing. It's a great gym for people who are on a low budget, like I said, or beginners, it's where I started out, a lot of people I know started out there, you can make some really good gains there, they have virtually everything you need there to succeed. And they do keep, they do update the equipment, they do fix the equipment, all the equipment does work well, but you do get what you pay for in a sense. You're not gonna get the amenities or some high-end equipment, but you're gonna get enough to, to make gains and do what you wanna do. The second gym I'd like to recommend is probably the gym everybody knows, which is Good Life. And why I say Good Life, because it's 24 hours, seven days a week, and if you get the ultimate membership, you can have access to every good life in the area. Then there's, there's a couple, there's a couple on a topical, there's one in the West Mall, and there's one in Islington. And if you go down, you can go down to all the downtown locations, which all have amenities such as like pools and hot tubs, saunas, tanning rooms, like, a good life is really a gym for people who want amenities, you know, want to be pampered in a sense. The only downside to Good Life is sometimes the rules. Like, for instance, if you, you could drop the weight and lose your membership for up to 30 days, um, it, it's very busy at Good Life. So if you're looking, if you're looking for privacy, or you don't want to be like surrounded by people, if you feel, you feel claustrophobic in the gym like I do sometimes, it could tend to get busy from around four to nine. That's like universal at every location. But overall, all the equipment is maintained regularly. It is high-end equipment. They got nice people there. They got towel service. If, like I said, basically if you like to be pampered and you like amenities while you work out, like having incentives also to go to the gym, Good Life is a gym for you. The third gym I'd like to recommend, and I just tried out the gym for one free workout, um, and I've, I've been very impressed, and it is Torque, Torque Barbell. This gym is a powerlifting gym. They, they have belts to wrist wraps to things you could pull to tire flips. They have... They have grass, artificial grass, like turf that you could lift on. They have squat racks for days. They got really great bars for bench pressing. They even got hooks for the deadlift, which will help you load up the bar faster. So you don't have to keep loading up the bar and lifting the weight up and running down your back. It, it, it does it for you. You just put the hook on and then you load the weight, like at a real powerlifting competition. And this gym, I'd recommend for anyone that likes to do powerlifting or bodybuilding or power building because it's a very great gym. All the equipment is amazing, especially the hamstring machine. I've never had a hamstring machine more smooth than Torque Barbell's hamstring machine. It is a great gym. The only downside to that gym is the hours. They are open till 10 p.m. Monday to Friday and 5 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. So if you are looking to work out late in the night, it is kind of bad because you wouldn't be able to. So if you do have work and stuff like that, I'd recommend going to a different gym. But I have nothing but good things to say about this gym. The fourth gym I'd like to recommend, and it's pretty out in the middle of nowhere in my opinion, because I've, I've never, I would have never known how to had not researched and went on Google Maps to figure it out. And this gym is Fitness 265. It used to be called Monster Gym, but they wanted to attract more females because what, who, what female or anyone really, who's really gonna want to go to a gym called Monster Gym? You know, that sounds kind of intimidating. Like what the heck? Especially if you're a beginner, right? So anyway, they changed the Fitness 265, and the name says it all. They're open 365. They never close. Open. Every, every day, all day, holidays included. It is a bodybuilding gym. You can do powerlifting and aesthetics, but everything there is like old school bodybuilding. It's all steel plates. The bars hurt at first. You're gonna have to use chalk, and it's just full of big, huge bodybuilders. 
and it's it's a really good gym, really good environment. The people working, the people working there are really nice. The people that work out are really cool. You you make a lot of friends immediately. People will just people will go up to you and try to help you out, and tell you, give you tips, and all sorts sort of stuff like that. The only downside is they don't really have amenities or anything like that. They don't really have like what, like for instance, like tour cabs, like belts and all that stuff. You have to bring in all your equipment by yourself. But all the equipment is maintained. They have stuff I've never seen in any of a gym before. And this gym has clearly been a long, a long been here a long time because their equipment looks like it's been here from the 1990s. But they it's been regularly updated and fixed, and it feel it feels great. You you're gonna look great, and honestly, they have the best lighting. I've gotten like the most amazing gym selfies at Fitness 365. And last but not least, I'd like to say the final gym, say the, say the not to say the best for last, but uh, least but not, last but not least, Extreme Couture. This gym is um, is a bodybuilding powerlifting gym as well, but they also have stuff for like boxing and MMA fighters. So if you're in the fighting and stuff like that, this would be the gym for you. They, they have all the equipment you need for a normal typical gym. Um, the hours aren't that bad. I believe they close at like 12 p.m. every day, even Saturdays and Sundays. I could be wrong, but I the hours aren't like 10, 8, 10 p.m. like other gyms. And like I said, it's more for like people that like MMA fighting, people that want to work out, learn how to box, kickbox, and like stuff on the lines of that. So if you're looking for that, I'd also recommend that gym. So these are, those are my five gym picks. Um, if you want to know the, my pick personally, it would be fit for less due to the budget. It being open 24 hours and the equipment being almost the same as Good Life's. That is my opinion. That is my pick. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe below. Check out my Instagram account. Support me so I can make more videos. Peace out.